Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Skies. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a fantastic day. I did go ahead and finish uh, making all of these runes between episodes, so we should be able to make a Terra Steel agglomeration plate. This thing right here. Uh, I do need to make a block of mana steel, and there we go. Uh, I'm just going to toss those in there. Uh, then we need some mana, man, man, there we go, we've, we've done it, <laughs> we need some mana steel ingots, and I want to make terra steel, um, so let's grab a spark, we put one right here on top of this, and one right here on top of this, and then underneath, oh, I don't have my magnet active, uh, underneath this thing, we need to make like a little pattern, uh, it's a very specific pattern actually, so, we are going to grab some lapis, and I've got some living stone over here, and all of this is basically going to allow us to do what I want to do today, and that is automate the production of a couple things. Uh, the first being the essences from mystical agriculture. So this stuff, Inferium, can be crafted into Prudentium, which can be crafted into Intermedium, which can be and so on and so forth all the way up. And you can use a regular infusion crystal, but this thing has a durability and it'll get used up pretty quick. What I wanna make is this master infusion crystal and this thing is infinite. You can use it as many times as you want. And if we have one of these, we can craft some pretty, uh, we, we can basically automate the crafting of that essence. And it's a lot easier to craft down than it is to craft up because this stuff can be crafted back into uh, the next lower level. So this is kind of my plan. Um, so we've done this. We need another spark on top of this, which we have. And I believe all I have to do is throw a mana steel is disable my magnet and then throw a mana steel ingot on top now this is going to use like an entire mana pool i believe so let's make sure this guy is topped off and then we'll go boop boop and boop no T stay there we go and now you can see this thing starting to work it is slowly turning into terra steel We'll toss a couple more of these in here just to make sure we have enough mana. But that should be enough. It does take a little while. I believe it drained, or maybe it's half a mana pool. I think it uses half a mana pool, not a, not a full mana pool. But we'll let it do its thing. We get flashing lights. And there we go. We have ourselves a single Terra Steel ingot, and we still have half a mana pool left. So I want to make... Uh, I'd really like to make four of these. Um... Hmm. <laughs> Let's... I'm trying to think. Do we want to make the Terra Steel first? How much... I have six Blacker Lotuses. That's probably not going to be enough to make four. I think what we should do is... Let's look at the loot bag opener. Here we go. And we need a silver chest... Which means we need a copper chest first. Followed by a silver chest. And then we can make this guy. This bag opener. And this thing will essentially uh, use... This will like open loot boxes for us. I'm not exactly sure how this works. Like if it requires power or anything like that. Let's just uh, let, let's take this over here. Let's just throw it down like right here. And let's just grab... A couple of these guys. Okay. And we'll science it a little bit. Oh, yeah. It totally works. Okay. So it it doesn't require power or anything along those lines. So basically what we're going to want to do is put all of these into our system. Uh, or our, our ME system. This is Those are just regular saplings. Um, yeah. Okay. So we'll want to automate this. I think what we will do for now is let's just put it. I suppose we could just kind of put it out here. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. We'll put it right here. We'll grab uh, an item conduit. Like so. Let's grab some speed upgrades that I do not have, apparently. Let's just make a bunch of these. That should be fine. And then we need an export bus, which I happen to have. And a cable. There we go. Uh, actually, we need a couple more cables. Let's go cable. And that should be good. Okay. And the reason we're doing this is because you can get blacker lotuses from these loot bags. So I think what we'll do is we'll take the legendary loot bags and we will export them into this guy. So we're going to put an export bus here with a legendary loot bag in it. And then we'll do something like this. And that's going to start exporting these over here. Uh, now we need an item conduit. Ooh. We're going to get a lot of junk that we don't necessarily want. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's grab a filter. Yeah, let's grab an item filter and let's make a trash. Oh, I actually already have one. Even better. We'll put a trash can right here. Uh, I need to get down there. And we'll say insert priority minus one. Uh, actually, we'll say insert priority two and we'll put the item filter. Oh, those, those are not item filters. That's the item filter. There we go. Uh, we'll put that here. Uh, for now, let's just dump whatever I can over here. And I think we'll put iron armor into here. Uh, we'll put... I mean, for now, I can, I can have a little bit of iron armor in my system. That's fine. But we'll say all of the iron armor goes in there because I don't want that. And then Iron Swords, I think, we'll put in here as well. Because we don't need those. And then that uh, Iron Pick I don't need. I can put that. That's actually all I can afford. Fine. Tell you what. This is, this is fine for now. We'll do that. And then we'll say... We'll go there first. Uh, extract always. We'll throw some speed upgrades in here. And... Is that? That is not pulling items. Oh, I see what the problem is. Insert. So this has higher priority. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that totally worked. So now this will start grabbing things. And that should do the trick. We're going to get a lot of junk that we don't really need. But that's okay for now. We, we can just leave it for now. I'm, I'm good with that. And that will start opening these for us, and we'll start getting us more blacker lotuses so we can make more terra steel. And if I can get four terra steel, uh, then I can make terra steel seeds, which means I never have to do this Botania nonsense ever again. All right, guys, I am back. I've got my five terra steel ingots. We also completed several quests. Uh, through this whole process. So I'm going to claim all those rewards. There we go. And that gives us some loot chests to open. We got a Magmacume charm, more cosmetics, an Invar hammer, and a superheating element. So basically a bunch of stuff that uh, is all pretty much useless for us because of course it is. Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, let's put like all of this junk away. Okay, now... I do want to make a mana tablet uh, because I'm actually about to tear down this, uh, this. I don't need it anymore. It's not needed. Uh, so we'll toss the mana tablet right. No, you, you don't just toss that on there anymore. There we go. It's draining. This is fine. 
That whole like automate the loot bag thing, that was definitely the way to go. Check out, we have 161 blacker lotuses. That's absurd. That is so much mana. Like I don't need to do anything with Botania mana generation like ever again if I don't want to, which is pretty sweet and I'm very happy about it because uh, you know, like Botania is fun and all, you know, it's a great mod, don't get me wrong. But it's, it's, I don't know, I'm not, a, I just don't like really enjoy it very much. I don't know what it is. Like it's the mod, it's one of the most well-made mods like ever. It's so good uh, as far as like polish and how well, how, uh, how well it's done. Maybe it's because it, it's a mod that's really good for people who are into redstone and I'm not really a redstoner. I don't know. Either way, uh, we don't really have to do much with Botania now for quite some time, if ever. But we have our Terra Steel. So the first thing I want to do, you can make a whole bunch of different stuff with Terra Steel. Like, there's lots of different things. But what I really want to make is the Master Infusion Crystal. So we're going to need one, two, three, four of those. And then I'm also going to need... Wait, why do I only have three Terra Steel? No, I've got five. Okay. I'm just, whew. I was a little concerned there for a sec. Uh, and then Supremium S. How much Supremium do I have? I actually have four Supremium right now. Awesome. There we go. We have ourselves the Master Infusion Crystal. And this thing is unlimited. It will work for as long as I want it to work. So what I want to do is I want to, I, I, I want to automate the, Yep, there we go. I want to automate the production of higher tiers of essence. So we're going to make a crafter from RF tools, I think. I think this is going to be the way to go. So let's just take that. I don't want to make a ton of these. I want to do something where I can just automate um, like specific things. And actually, really, all I need is like one, two, three, four more of those. So crafter tier two and crafter tier three. There we go. So if we throw this guy down, you can see there's a whole bunch of different stuff in here. I think what we should do. Uh, well, first of all, we need to figure out where we're going to set this up. Right there. There's where our thing is. Let's just kind of tear out some space back here. Like so. I'm just going to tear all that out. And we're just going to run this guy kind of out this way like so. Okay, good. Um, Actually, I also really need... Uh, this is fine. This is fine. That's right. I brought this crafting terminal with me for a reason. So... We will put you right here with an export bus. And then we'll put an import bus over here. Like so. Okay, so that should be good. Now, temporarily, I'm going to put a another cable with a crafting terminal. Just, just temporarily. That way I can actually access my... Emmy system? Maybe not. I might not have enough channels to do that. So basically, Applied Energistics has some limitations. It's an amazing mod that allows you to do so many different things. It's incredible. But it does have limitations. So, essentially, each one of these cables can only support eight different things. Each one of those things is called channel. So like, for example, this array of drawers, this is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is 18 things. Therefore, this would use 18 channels. Oh, actually, these are five high, so it would be 15 channels. But still, this would use a whole bunch of different channels. And each one of these glass cables here can only support eight. So that's kind of an issue. Um, because what I'm doing is I'm running this cable up. Really? Is that... That doesn't seem right. Um, hold on. Do I have any more dents? Oh, I know what the problem is. 
Okay, I need to make more of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So, dense cables. Let's just make as many of those as we can. Here's the problem. So, we're going to break those and run dense cables over like so. Because basically, uh, this was less than eight, but this all together was more because we also have stuff running down there as well. So this should work for the time being. This will be okay. I think we'll be good now. Let's just peek. Yep, now we're good. Excellent. Okay, so here's the plan. What we need is all of the different essence types that we have accumulated thus far. Okay, so we'll do that. We also need the orange one. There we go. And I think what we'll do is we want to set this to remember the current items in the internal and external storage buffers. So we'll put the master infusion crystal in. We'll say eight of those, four of those. Um, I need more. And this should be the input buffer, I thought. Okay, input, input, input. Unless it goes here, but I think that's right. So, yeah, I see down here it needs a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so here's your output buffer. Here's your input buffer. I understand. Okay, but this does need power. Gotcha. Okay. I, was, I had to think for a second. It's been a long time since I've actually had to use one of these things. Uh, but let's just run an energy conduit um, back here. Yeah, we'll run it. Uh, we'll run it this way. Just kind of sneak it out and like so. There we go. So now what we should see is all of this stuff should start filling up. Do I need another? What happened to my master infusion? I see. It came over here. So I tossed that over here. Why is that going to the output? Okay, guys, I figured out what I was doing. So when you hit R, that's when it saves it. So now if I pull all this stuff out, you can see there's like a little back thing back here. That's because it only it saves it when you hit R and then it forgets it when you hit F. So that's what was going on. So we toss this in here. We toss these in. And if we toss all this stuff in, I had to disable the power so we could get this properly all sorted out. But this will this should work now. Uh, so let's go and put our power back. And you can see it's going to start doing all of this. So what we want to do is if we take essence and we say export essence to this thing, we're going to start having essence exported in here. Now, it's going to be super, super, super slow unless we do some acceleration cards. Now this thing's going to start filling up very quickly. Okay. And eventually what will happen is we'll get our Supremium and I want to take this and we're going to go here and make one, one more recipe like so. And we will hit apply this one i actually do want to go to the uh no no no, we don't because we need the uh supremium essence to stay back here so we'll do that and we'll say insanium essence okay so what's gonna happen dude you need you know <laughs> you need to you need to do the thing there we go we'll let this all kind of fill up it'll take a minute but we'll do something like that. We'll get these guys out. We'll do this. And we'll say, remember. Uh, I actually don't want 
that, that, you know what, this is fine. This is perfectly okay. Let's toss all the rest of that over here. Okay, this is going to craft away. This is going to make me Insanium Essence over time. It's going to take a while, but it'll get there. So we got that in here. Now I need one of these because we wanted, what we want to do is we want to say import Insanium back into the system. And I think... Uh, okay. Oh, I didn't even know that was an option. Oh, okay. So we don't even need to do the capacity card then. We can take that out and go back to an acceleration card. Sweet. That's even better. So basically this guy right here, we change this to XT C. Uh, load this. Change that to XC and hit apply. So what should happen is that the Insanium will go here and it will be exported, right? But everything else, this Master Infusion Stone, will go back over here. That's what I'm hoping. Let's turn this to ignored and just see if this works properly. And let's change it to fast real quick just to kind of speed it up. It seems like that did indeed work. Am I out of essence? Uh, now I still have 18k. So why are you... I guess it's just limited by the speed at which it can be exported. Okay, hey, that's fine. I'm good with this. So now we should be getting this Insanium Essence, which I, I believe is the highest level of essence for Mystical Crops. I think. And what can this be used for? Insanium Blocks. Tier 6 Crafting Seeds. I can make Nether Star Seeds. Awaken Draconium Seeds. Insanium Chunks. Insanium Ingots. All sorts of good stuff with this. And, if I ever need to, I can also craft it back into Supremium. Supremium I can craft back into the lower levels, etc, etc, etc. So basically what we've done here is we've made this so that we can, at will, um craft whatever we need to craft uh like we will always have the the right type of essence and it will be easy enough uh to get previous ones i won't ha ever have to go back and just like if i need supremium uh, i won't have to go through the whole big giant crafting process all i'll have to do is grab a little bit of this insanium right here and we'll just throw that in here for now uh is grab a little bit of this and it should be good so that'll make mystical crops a lot easier easier for me in the future. Now, I do want to upgrade this and we'll throw I'm going to throw 4 on there because I am it is something that I technically could end up with an infinite amount of as unlikely as that seems. Uh and then let's just grab some cable facades and a uh, do I have any conduit facades? I have one. We'll grab that. I've got limestone. And I basically want to cover up my work. That's, that's like my plan. We want to cover it up so it doesn't look so bad. Let's just swing down here. We'll go up like so. And then we'll go to our painting machine. One conduit facade, one limestone block. Thank you. And now we should be able to cover up all that stuff, all the cabling and whatnot. I also want, I, I think I actually do want a crafting terminal up here at this level. I think that makes sense. Just so I can easily get, uh, you know, access to my system from up here if I need to. Especially since we have a couple different things over here. So let's just kind of rearrange this a little bit. We'll break that. Uh, I will put a cable here and here. And we'll put the crafting terminal right there. We'll put our conduit facade here. Actual limestone up here, like so. And then we have three of these facades. So we'll just do something like that. And that looks really bad because the lighting is not uh, properly working. So what we'll do... I think if we go behind it uh, over here... Here, this should 
maybe fix the lighting. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. It is It is out, out here. It is a lot darker, so I may be wrong. Um, but for now, I think it's okay. I can mess around with it later if needed. Yeah, the lighting's still all messed up. Oh, well. Uh, so how are we doing on this? Yeah, look at that. 28 Insanium Essence already. That is so good. That's going to be hugely important because now we can make higher level seeds fairly easily. So we we kind of started working towards this Terra Steel earlier, right? And I think what I want to do, let's make... Oh, am I out of essence? I am completely out of essence. Okay. So what we should probably do... Um, let's change this... Let's just put this on, right? Let's just turn this thing off temporarily. I think that'll be fine. Um, and then we'll grab some of this Insanium Essence. And this will be enough. Or at least it should be enough. Uh, let's just grab a couple of these. Do some of that. Some of that. And one of those. And one of those. There we go. So... Let's go to seeds, and we need a base crafting seed, and then we will upgrade that to a tier one crafting seed, tier two, tier three, uh, toss all of this into here and turn that to ignored to craft through all the things again. There we go. I'll grab my Insanium. Uh, speaking of which, I really don't want Insanium in here. But I'll deal with that later. That's fine. Uh, so then we'll go like so. Uh, I will need two of these. Oh, this one's my ME system. No? Oh, I'm missing a I'm missing a tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I knew that. I keep clicking on the crafter instead of the other thing. So we'll go with Supremium. Tier 5. There we go. So now we have our tier 5 crafting seed and then we grab our Terra steel with two. Throw this here. Terra steel in the corners. And there we go. We should now be able to grow Terra Steel, I believe. The only one way to test it and find out. But if I am correct, then we are going to be pretty good to go. Uh, let's see here. Let's go. How do we get out this way? Let's just go to our. Our little greenhouse area, uh, our actual gardens right now are over here. Let's just see if it is possible for me to grow Terra Steel. It's totally possible for me to grow Terra Steel. Well, that's pretty good. And that gives me Terra Steel Essence. And Terra Steel Essence can be turned eight, eight of them into two Terra Steel ingots. So we now have infinite Terra Steel. That's pretty sweet. I think that's a great place to end off today's episode. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.